Welcome to Megan Wants a Millionaire. I'm Niles, your concierge and narrator. On our previous instalment, our millionaire's business skills were put to the test. What are you selling? A membership. Organic foods. Non-profit organization. <coughs> no billions? Pro wrestling go all over the world. I see you as a ballet. Wrestler Matt's connection to Megan proved tenuous. You're like the king of sex toys. I am. Well, yes. You could be the queen. You live off of what, you know, your parents give you. Pretty much. Do you see us as making a good couple? I don't know that I see him with you. Trust fund baby Joe got caught in the friend zone. Bye, Megan. You're definitely a shy boy. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey. Megan definitely makes me nervous. I need to, like, try and impress her. You're kind of good. Alex was spared the snip with a warning to stop being a nervous ninny. wants love, Megan wants money, to live a life of milk and honey, with a man who takes her there, a gentleman extraordinaire, Megan wants a millionaire, and what Megan wants, Megan gets. It had been a long night, and despite Alex's pardon, he was still feeling a bit shaken. Ah, how are you feeling? Me? Like I gotta do something? You can't keep losing challenge after challenge. Tonight? Joe and Matt got cut, and Megan was about to cut my card too. Alex, you're definitely a shy boy. No. Much more shy than I expected. No. I need to do something to make myself stand out. I did really well in a challenge two days ago. Yeah. These nine other guys are all too talented for me to just continue losing and not spending any time with Megan. <laughs> I know what's gonna happen is gonna happen. Maybe I do need to start being a little bit more serious around Megan. With the weather a tad dreary, our millionaires were feeling somewhat sluggish. But a challenge would soon put a little pep in their step. The, wait, those, so those are all subcategories under rabbit vibrators. I have a lot going on, and now is not the time for me to just disappear from my business. Wait, don't they all have pearls and beads? But I'm still trying to spend time with Megan rather than work. But at this point, I don't really know her, and I'm going to start to need a date. Caution, Dave. All work and no play makes sex toy Dave a dull boy. Gentlemen, please congregate in the Great Hall. Good morning, boys. So far you've shown me your creativity with your heart and your mind. But today's challenge will put your manhood on the line. Please get dressed and be ready to leave in one hour. Love, Megan. The note says Megan's going to be testing us on our manhood. Perfect. I'll just unzip my pants. At Megan's request, I had arranged for a delivery of exquisite tuxedos. Megan gives us these tuxedos. I'm feeling great. I have my act together. I definitely know the better things in life than a lot of the other guys. All right, this is how I'm going. I'm not a Neanderthal. Good luck, and do be careful with the tuxedos. They need to be back at the shop by 10 a.m. Dressed to kill, our millionaires were whisked off to an unknown destination. We arrive at the challenge and I see this big medieval castle. What the hell is this gonna be? Miss Megan appeared to have misunderstood me when I said to wear something waterproof. Hi, boys. Hello, Megan. Hi, hello, Megan. Holy You look very good. Holy Actually. All my boys are looking so sexy in the Perry Ellis tuxedos I got for them. This is going to be my favorite challenge yet. I need a millionaire who is strong, sexy, and not afraid of a little danger. What I am looking for is my very own James Bond which would make me your Bond girl. 
I'm definitely the most James Bond out of anyone here. I'm the only guy that looks good in a tuxedo. I uh, beg to differ. Here to help me with today's challenge is one of the world's most premier marksmen, Jack Dagger. Clearly, Mr. Dagger was not someone to be trifled with. Before each event, if your name is drawn from this velvet bag, you will step forward and choose your opponent. There will be five winners and five losers. Four of the five winners will be going on a group date with me tomorrow, while the MVP will get a very romantic private date with me tonight. I decided to throw in the title MVP because I know boys like sports and maybe that would make them work harder. Megan wasn't quite aware that her outfit was all the motivation our millionaires required. I need this. So I'm like, grr, when the This first challenge is going to test your precision marksmanship. We're going to be throwing knives for accuracy. Okay. The first challenger will be... Sex Toy Dave! Who would you like to pick as your opponent? Well, who do I pick? Who has experience throwing knives or not? I have no idea. Big Mike, he's been in the joint. He may have thrown a few knives in his time, so I'll avoid him, I think. I'm gonna go with Alex. Alex has been a little nervous since day one in the house. I'm hoping he brings that nervousness to his knife throwing game. Each of you are gonna get five knives. Whoever has the highest score will win a date with beautiful Megan. First up, we have Sex Toy Dave. Concentrate. I want these boys to picture my mortal enemy, Brett, Heather, Sharon, Brandy, Pumpkin, Toasty, Rodeo. Get them, boys. No pressure. Uh, not off to a great start. Knife floats off my hand, nine points, piece of cake. Now I think I can uh, make this happen. Well stuck, Dave. Now we have a competition. Everybody gets lucky once in a while. Third knife, no score. I gotta get one more knife in there. If I can get two knives in, I got a decent chance here. Ugly headshot, no stick, no points. Now this is the last knife. I need to have some time with Megan, and today is my chance with this challenge, and I plan on winning. Nine points for sex toy day. Nice, just nine points, dude. I can like roll the knife up there. Let's do better than that. I've seen better arms on a snake. Next up we have Alex. Let's see what I can do here. It was time for Alex to now walk the walk. I can't wait to have Megan falling all over me, saying like, you are my 007. Oh. First knife, First zero try. points. <sighs> Whatever, just a little warm up toss. I have four knives left. 40 points is just gonna have to do. Alex wasn't exactly proving to be the king of cutlery. I don't hurt the knee, no. It did stick, but there's no score. Knife number four. Last knife, you must score at least nine points or higher to win this competition, or you get to take the first seat on the loser's bench. You have to hit a bullseye, Alex. Bullseye, bullseye, bullseye. You're Bond Girl. You have to hit a bullseye. You're Bond Girl. Bullseye, bullseye, Bond Girl. Bullseye. At this point, I jotted a reminder to myself never to bring Alex to a knife fight. Ashamed, embarrassed. I literally can't hold my head up. Looks like the winner is. Sex Toy Dave secured a date, but who'll prove victorious next? The Battle Royale continues. 
This is the bar brawl. We're going to have you enter this ring. When we say go, you're going to try to wrest this bar away from your opponent. <laughs> We're going to go best out of three. The challenger will be Corey. I picked Corey's name out of the bag and I couldn't have planned it better myself. I want to see him in action. Would you like to select your opponent? <laughs> Corey says Megan can choose an opponent for him. That's cocky. My advice, avoid opponents named Punisher. But it's good. Coming up. <laughs> I put my manhood on the line. I'm not going to lose it. And later, extravagant upgrades. Iconic Trinity ring for $1,948. For a premium. It was time for the bar brawl event, and Corey had invited Miss Megan to choose his opponent. This is extremely sexy to me. Part of me just wants me to choose myself for him to wrestle with, but that can wait till later. In that case, I have to go with Ryan. These guys are about evenly matched physically. Now it's just about who wants me more. When you guys are ready, I'll start you off. Get that bar out of the other guy's hands as quickly as you can. It's best out of three. Grab your rod. Ah, oh, reminds me of my boarding school days. But that's another story. Ready, set, go. I'm trying to sidestep Ryan, push and pull, flip, push him on the ground. Really just jerk this thing out of his hands any way possible. Come on. Hey! Corey. So finally I get it out of Corey's hand. The look on his face was priceless. Ryan, you have one point. Corey, zero. Best out of three. Ready, set, go. <laughs> They're holding on, they're headbutting each other, they're twisting and twirling. There was some prison right there. Point, you released your hand. Yeah. So that's a point for Corey. It's one to one. Whoever gets the next point is the winner. There's no way I'm letting go of this bar. I put my manhood on the line. I'm not going to lose another point to Ryan. Go! With manhood's front and center, it was do or die time for Corey and Ryan. At this point, I'm trying to twist and pull, but he's trying to do the same thing, so all we're doing is exhausting each other. Yes, I imagine twisting and pulling manhoods does get exhausting. <gasps> hey! Oh my god! Corey! <sighs> not only did I win this challenge, now I think it's become a lot clearer who's willing to go the distance for her. Congratulations. Fine, the guy is good at pulling bars out of guys' hands. Big deal. I'm good at dates and beautiful girls. So Corey admirably proved his mettle. Now which millionaire would step up next? Hey gentlemen, the next challenge. For settling disputes, a sword is a more elegant weapon for a more civilized age. The challenger will be Big Mike. Come up here. Who would you like your opponent to be? TJ. I basically picked TJ because I wanted to prove that if I could beat a guy younger than me, smaller and faster, I'd beat anybody. Whoever reaches a score of 10 is the winner. So I'm going to try to chew in 10 quick hits before Mike even knows what's coming at him. Ben! Oh, stop. Touch for Mike. Ready? Ben! Oh. oh! Two points for Big Mike! Mike has two hits and I have none, and I better think of a different approach. Oh. TJ, two. Wow! You both score. Tied! Mike scores. Tight. Score. 
lead. Remember, it's the first person who gets 10 points wins. TJ's coming at me the same style every time, straight ahead, straight ahead, straight ahead. And he's, he's striking me, and he's getting points. So when he came direct, I kind of did like my little Muhammad Ali. I went a little to the left, a little to the right. Oh! Oh, Big Mike soon learned he didn't float like a butterfly. Oh. So I think the way to win this now is to kind of sit back, take my time, and let him come after me. Oh. 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 Touch for Mike. Sudden death. Tied? Wow. Okay. Let's go, boys. Uh. So with the points tied at nine all, Victory had come down to one final moment. Oh. oh! Mike wins! Hey. Hey. I told you I'm I played mental games with him, so not only did I wouldn't beat him on the physical end, I beat him on the mental part. Big Mike's swashbuckling ways earned him a date, but there were still a few millionaires yet to compete. Go ahead, Jack. Today you're going to be making her the best martini she has ever tasted. Finally, a challenge I could excel at. I love martinis, and any man I date, if he doesn't know how to make me one, he better be able to hire someone that does. Each of you are going to have one minute to make and pour the martini. I'm terrified because not only do I not know how to make a martini, I have no idea what a martini is. The challenger will be Francisco. Come up here. So Francisco, who would you like to choose as your opponent? Francisco's about to choose his opponent and I'm trying not to make any eye contact. I'm looking at the birds, I'm checking out the scenery. You have to go with Punisher. Francisco correctly surmised that Punisher's muscles would be of no use in this competition. This is gonna be bad. Go! It's basically really simple. I didn't even have to think about it. I know Megan is a vodka girl and I just decided to go with that. I gotta do something to make a decent drink. I'm gonna watch Francisco as much as I can and try to copy what he does. Francisco grabs the vodka. I grab the vodka. Punisher, the blue bottle is gin. Francisco grabs the shaker. I grab the shaker. I see the olives, but I'm like, who the hell like olives in their drink? No, I'm gonna leave those alone. I'm just glad Maragino cherries weren't an option. At time, time, put your utensils down. Francisco, it's your turn. Thank you. Thank you. Punisher? As I walk up there, all I can envision is her taking a sip and spitting it right back out. Not good. The best martini was... Francisco. Cool. So I want a date and I'm excited to finally get to spend some time with Megan. Definitely looking forward to it. Francisco stirred his way into the winner's circle, leaving Punisher shaken. And now it's time for the final event. David versus Al, the final two millionaires. Gentlemen, Megan has a lot of jewels and she's dropped her treasure chest of jewelry in the moat. And you two lucky guys are gonna go swimming. <laughs> but this is how it's gonna work. You're going to enter the moat, you're going to swim to the complete other end of the moat. There's a tray with two sets of keys. There are two treasure chests at the bottom of the water. You have to get the treasure chest open and be the first person to present these jewels to Megan. Diving into this moat? I've been scuba diving for 15 years. I got certifications coming out of my ass. Give me a break, this is a joke. I'm a diver, take him back. Right. Double O Dave declined the goggles with great panache. David has told us how good of a scuba diver he is. So I guess I'm a little bit concerned that uh, he might have an edge. 
Ready? Yes. Set. Go! As soon as they say go, I, I do a head first dive right into the water and I'm swimming. Holy cow. Uh-oh. They're really doing it. Tuxedos and all. It's hard to swim in the jacket, but he's got a lead and I can't let him win. They're pretty much tied. Oh my god. Ow! Wow! Ow comes through and it's like... Where the hell is Dave? Where's David? What's he doing? This water is frigid cold, and I'm holding on for dear life. Turns out Mr. David needed those goggles after all, and perhaps some floaties. David, what are you doing? Oh, what happened? Are you okay? <laughs> I see David clinging onto the bridge for dear life, looking like a wet rat trying to escape the Titanic. You're a diver! Cold! I come up, I can't breathe. This water is so cold, it's taking my breath away. I got the keys, I go down, and I can't hold my breath but just for a few seconds. Ow, get down there! Ow! The water is starting to set in. My body's starting to go into shock. I'm freaking out, I can't breathe. I've got all this weight of this jacket and this suit on me. Where are my jewels? While David and Al proved to be anything but James Bond, previous loser Ryan saw an opportunity to redeem himself. I figured there needs to be a real man in this shot, and it's gonna be me. Coming up. Can I just confirm that you're declining the shopping spree? Not feeling it. Maybe he isn't going to give me a gift. Maybe he didn't understand the process. And later. I'm not sure if you've heard this nickname that everybody's been calling me. What? The Alaconda. <clears throat> you want to see? With Dave and Al Waterlogged, Ryan saw a chance to shine. I want this date. I figure, hey, if there's any time for a Baywatch dive, it's now. Woo! Oh my god! Ryan obviously wants to go on another date with me. My hero. Is this guy killing? This is a race, David! Yeah, that is. I'm rarely ever a quitter. Give me an extreme situation that's completely out of my control. Yeah, I'm gonna do what's right for me. There is absolutely nothing that is getting me back in that moat. The challenge was now down to small lunged Al and party crasher Ryan. Realizing that Ryan has an advantage because he hasn't swam all the way across, so I start freaking out. I've got to win this challenge. Thank you, Al, for getting my jewels. You will be going on the date tomorrow. I just won, and I feel great. I'm gonna get my date, and I hope we do something special. That was so brave of you, but you did still lose twice. So you stay on the loser's bench. Losing two times in one day really blows, but hey, I think my tux actually looked better wet. Al triumphed over David, and Ryan became our first two-time loser. All right, boys. The player who impressed me the most and really turned me on was... Corey. Corey has to be my MVP. He really put himself on the line by letting me choose his opponent. You will be spending a romantic date tonight in my very own bedroom. Bravo, Corey. I'll make sure the sheets are changed. And the four of you, we are all going lawn bowling. Yeah, don't get too excited, Al. It's lawn bowling. Be sure to check in with Niles. He will have more info on your dates and how you can make them extra special. I will see you all back in the house in a little bit. Bye. With five millionaires procuring dates with Miss Megan, I made sure to have a multitude of extravagances available to them. Miss Megan has planned a fantastic date for you this evening, very intimate occasion, just the two of you in the most private room of this house, her boudoir. 
And so the reason that you're here is that I can offer you an upgrade. Here it is, a private shopping spree. I can arrange for a stylist to come to your room who will bring a rack of phenomenal designer clothes and jewelry and all the accoutrements and have Beverly Hills come to you. And then you have the option to decide which items you would like to purchase. Hmm, I'm thinking shopping might be for another day. First date, I don't think it means shopping spree. I don't need to go and buy this girl something to show her that I care. I need to spend my time, which is irreplaceable. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much. The best of luck and have a wonderful evening. Gentlemen, good evening. Good evening. Hey, Niles. Hey, hey. The winners and I head over to Niles to see what the upgrade options are. I'm a little nervous about this whole buying gift thing, but, you know, let's see what, what the options are. As you probably know, you'll be going lawn bowling, which you're welcome to upgrade with this elegant Cartier Iconic Trinity ring for $1,948. Ms. Lily will also be accompanying you on the date tomorrow to make sure that she travels in style and also comfort. Then you are welcome to personalize with this designer doggy bag for $216. I'll do the bowling chat. Okay, very well. I'll take the, I'll take the, I'll take the shoes. I, um, I'm not feeling it. Okay, fair enough. I don't know Megan that well. I'm trying to get to know her, but I want her to like me for me and not be bought with some sort of a gift. Uh, so I, I appreciate Always your services. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm okay, thank you. I pass. Yes. I decided to purchase any of these gifts because I don't particularly like uh, any of them, so I just let the other guys uh, get the gifts. Well, gentlemen, I hope you have an absolutely spectacular date tomorrow. And thank you, now. Okay. Thank you. Now. Thank you. <laughs> with services rendered, it was on to the dates. First up, MVP Corey. I've been looking forward to spending some one-on-one -on -one quality time to really get to know the person behind all of this. Cheers. Sure. Congratulations today. I wouldn't matter any other way. I didn't want to just be one of the guys on the team that won. I wanted to be the one that was sitting here tonight. Why? Because it's more important to me. I'm starting to really like Corey, and I haven't felt this way about anybody in a long time. All my boys over here, huh? There they are. Who do you see yourself with here? Well, I'm still getting to know everybody. Mm hmm What do you think of me so far? How about that? I think that I could see myself with you. That's fantastic. Why is that? For obvious reasons. I really like Corey, and it seems like he likes me too. You want to go in the hot tub? Yeah. There's something about him that's just so sexy. <laughs> Chemistry is real nice. We're in the jacuzzi, kissing one another, moving around each other's bodies. Gorgeous night, gorgeous girl. Feels great. Maybe we should have just started off the date in this hot tub. I like where this is going. Well, clearly, Corey didn't need to purchase the shopping spree. But Dave, on the other hand, was thinking like he needed something. <laughs> I'm really upset at this point. I need to get some time with Megan. I really need to explain to her what happened. You? Oh, hi, David. How are you? What's going on? Some 